Hey y'all, I'm Mandy. This is Look Red Tarot. <laughs> y'all know one of the recent readings, The Unicorn, came out. I believe this is Rarity. Y'all let me know in the comments if you know her name. But you guys are rare, okay? You guys are rare. Y'all are... There's a lot of y'all in the collective coming up as this unicorn energy. Being able to... And it, all, it has something to do with your third eye. So, I don't know if my little pony was trying to tell us something. <laughs> Okay, the wisdom that y'all have has been around for a long time. We got the nine of wands coming out first. We're just going to see what comes out. Or you could, you recognize patterns, okay? We got the nine of cups here. So, with the nine of cups at the bottom of the deck, hopefully there's a cycle ending here, okay? Um, but with the unicorn thing, the, and the nine of swords, y'all could be seeing nine, 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 okay? That could be significant to you. The eight of wands. We got the lovers here. Somebody could be making a choice here. Uh, we got Gemini energy um, about where they want to put their energy or something here. The nine of pentacles. Okay, 111 on the timer. Somebody's really focused on um, bringing in their manifestations and somebody's realizing they got to cut off certain things to get this nine of pentacles. They might have to sacrifice certain things to get this... Um, financial stability here somebody may have to cut out a lover <laughs> that's not for everybody for some of y'all this is just about a choice the moon we do got the okay so y'all something i've noticed about tarot is okay so we right now are in the energy of the gemini full moon coming in uh tonight so we got the moon and we got the lovers which represent gemini and the moon we got the two of cups here soulmate energy or soul connection energy i don't know if these were supposed to fall out we got the empress with the nine of swords somebody could be um stressing out over a pregnancy or Something like that. We got the eight of wands here at the bottom of the deck. Two, two, two on the timer. Eight of swords. Somebody. Mm -hmm. We got the chariot. Somebody could feel um, trapped here. Or somebody's mama could be. I don't even want to say that, but somebody could be. Uh, with the chariot and the eight of swords, it's almost like somebody could be going to jail here. Um, or somebody's just mentally, it don't have to be physical jail. It could be somebody is, somebody could be stressing out over pregnancy here. Or a situation with a mother. There could be a mother involved in this situation. Okay. We got the ten of wands with the hierophant and the four of pentacles. Somebody is, something could be coming to light about some kind of, secret here okay what else the page of coins which is the page of pentacles a, a child six of cups or this could be somebody that you got a child with okay two of pentacles with the fool here somebody could have been juggling here aquarius energy with another child card the page of cups okay or somebody could be wanting to apologize to you. This may not have nothing to do with a child for some of y'all. I just said that because the Empress keeps coming up. So, y'all just be careful of that if you're not in that situation. Uh, for some of y'all, you could be pregnant and, you know, you're just stressing out about it. And so, you're kind of in between the worlds of being, you know, yourself and a mother. Or for some of y'all, maybe a father. Becoming a father here. But you're going on this new journey here with the fool. So that could be about pregnancy or having a kid. It don't have to be. Something could be holding you back here from bringing in what you want to manifest. Because you're thinking too hard. The four cups. Something that you're thinking too hard about could be causing you to miss uh, opportunities here. Or you could be bored out of your mind. Okay. You could have a boring lover. Oh my goodness, that's not good. Okay, we got the Six of Pentacles with the Seven of Cups. So you're in confusion now, possibly, or you got a lot of options here. You got a lot of options here, okay? You could be hearing from somebody. There's a lot of people who want to um, 
exchange something with you here. Energy. Somebody's missing you here. We got Taurus with the Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the Queen of Wands, the Four of Swords. Somebody could be sick. Um or tired or sick and tired okay the ten of swords the queen of swords is sick and tired she's done with something here something's over with here oh so somebody could have found out about an empress meaning a wife a baby mama or something like that something seems to be coming to light here or somebody's just realizing something that could be you or somebody else so for some of y'all, this could be a same-sex relationship. Not for everybody, of course, but so far we got two feminine energies out here. So let's keep it going. Ten of Cups. What? Ten of Cups with the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. The Page of Wands. So somebody... Somebody regrets listening to someone's uh, promises or something here. Okay, because we got the Ten of Cups with the Page of Wands and the Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Somebody's in regret here because they found out the truth about somebody here. This definitely is starting to look like a third-party situation where somebody possibly found out that somebody is um got some kind of issues, okay? Uh... Right, that's crazy. The ace. Somebody got some wand issues. Somebody got something going on with their wand or their wand receptacle or something like that, y'all. I don't know what's going on. Or somebody sick over you. They don't want to. They. Somebody sick over some kind of ending here, or you know, you ain't sick over it. You're just moving on. You got a new spark of inspiration here, okay? Because you put something in the past. You might be putting someone in the past here that you feel like was a repeating cycle, like they just kept repeating the same thing over and over again, but never taking any action. So you might be taking your own action in another direction here, or something like that. Tell me more with the Kipper deck. Mature man. We got mature man with false person at the bottom of the deck. So somebody definitely could be feeling like this mature man is false or this uh, mature man could feel like there's a feminine energy that's false. Something like that, y'all. There's not really any uh, gender in tarot, so keep that in mind. The If it comes up as a woman, it could actually be a man or a woman in masculine energy. Y'all know that, I think. Courtship. Okay, so well, I put mature man back in the deck but we had courtship false person somebody is kind of coming to a realization that some relationship was false or based on lies or something for some of y'all this is somebody finding out there's a some kind of hidden family hidden baby something like that somebody's thinking about this or somebody don't want somebody to know i don't know what in the world this seemed like it wants to come out we got the lovers gemini energy or somebody's making a choice here thief oh my god Somebody is coming up in this dusty thief energy. This could have been somebody that you was honoring here that now you're looking at like a, a thief. Like maybe you put somebody on a pedestal and now you're not seeing them in the same way. Okay. Expectation. Somebody was expecting to get some money out of this situation. Okay. I don't know who that was. Okay. We got the main male here and toil and labor. So somebody... Somebody could be a hard worker here. And so there was somebody else who maybe wanted to use that person for their money. We got a message here and occupation at the bottom of the deck. So somebody could be realizing that they were being used for their money or what they could give or something they were doing. They were being used for that and they're realizing that. They're realizing that whoever this was they were dealing with was expecting money or somehow gifts or favors or something like that somebody's realizing that okay then they're putting that to an end or something like that or somebody could be coming to you with a message about some of this i don't know y'all <laughs> this is crazy let's get a few more tarot cards to clarify and then i'll pull some what in the world my brain went blank Pull some other cards. I'll say that. Okay. So, Oracle. Good grief. Tell me more where they need to know. 
page of pentacles so this is either about a friend a child or somebody learning something new some new information here six of cups new information about something that's already happened here we got the star and the sun at the bottom of the deck aquarius leo energy with the two of pentacles somebody could um have the chinese zodiac sign of a pig there is justice coming here for you. Uh, something coming to light is justice here, or your intuition told you something. Something's been blocked. Something to do with a car could be significant here, or a cancer. Okay, we got Taurus here. Somebody is somebody was guided to walk away from something, or maybe something's about to change or either somebody's getting some kind of karma or they feel like they are we got the four of wands at the bottom of the deck somebody feels burdened by something that was going on here okay the empress here was pulled into some kind of cycle here and heartbroken possibly or somebody is not dealing with the empress anymore um or the empress is not dealing with we got a king of cups here and regret somebody is regretting something here somebody's regretting somebody who they were collaborating with possibly sexually here is causing problems here causing confusion okay mm, okay so i don't know give me a couple more Four of Swords. Somebody's just tired of it. Like I said before, sick and tired. We got the King of Swords. Somebody could be sick and tired of a King of Swords energy or the King of Swords energy could be sick and tired of somebody. I don't know. <clears throat> this could even have something to do with co-workers here with the Eight of Pentacles or somebody just learning um, about themselves and what direction they want to go in. Maybe not wanting to be used by people for the money they're making or the favors they're doing or something like that. If somebody is making a choice here to focus on their ten of cups which would be like their family 12 12 on the clock this is going to lead to some kind of victory and success here for somebody to, to get focused here somebody being enlightened here somebody could be meditating more we're seeing two 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 on the clock that's really nice energy what i'm getting with a lot of the readings lately is that everybody's been going well, maybe not everybody but a lot of people been going through a lot of bull crap and it seems like there's a lot of cycles wrapping up, closing out, or <coughs> people are just choosing not to deal with certain people who are not closing out their own cycles. Because if they're still stuck in karmic cycles, and they're going to continuously be screwing up and causing their own selves heartache and pain. And when they're doing that, you know, they're going to bring that onto you. So, when you start noticing that, okay, this person keeps doing the same thing over and over and over and over again, it's time to either get the hell on, <laughs> either they're going to have to change or you're going to have to change direction because, you know, don't let nobody drag you down into their mess with them is, is what I'm getting. All right, so I did say I was going to pull some Oracle cards. Did I pull any yet? No, I didn't. Okay, so let's get a couple from... But let's get a couple from the animal oracle deck. Yeah, because no, we're 13 minutes in. Okay, let me do something quicker. Uh, well, let's use the sacred forest. Okay, actually, let's use angels for the modern mystic bliss at the bottom of the day which is fun oh say farewell with love so somebody could be saying farewell to somebody here a karmic third party or something like that okay so and a karmic third party could be a person it could be a job it could be a friend it's just basically a situation um that it just goes around in circles it never progresses pretty much and you know Y'all know what that is. Okay, let's get one or two from the Cultivate Gratitude. When I see this card, I think this isn't supposed to even be in this deck. So when I tell y'all, y'all got something beautiful coming in. This is a lot of abundance here, a lot of happiness, and this keeps coming out. Thank the universe in advance here because it's coming. Something that you have manifested is coming in. Keep your faith here with trust at the bottom of the deck. The angel of intuition, you know what to do. Let me get one more, please. Decide to do the right thing here. Okay. <clears throat> 
So there's somebody, somebody here who is, uh, who's fighting their own demons, I suppose. And they got a choice here. We start off with the choice. So somebody's got a choice here to make, to decide to do the right thing. They're, uh, considering who they want to be. And it looks like they're wanting to leave behind some kind of, uh, karmic ways or something like that. They could have been a juggler. I don't know, but they're trying to make a decision or they've made a decision here. It looks like it's going to end well. So whoever it is making the decision, it looks like it's going to be a good decision. Okay, so um, that's what I got for y'all on this one. I love y'all. See you in the next one. Bye.